Hey guys, Ryan Maniac P2 here, and I have another Photoshop quick tip. And uh, this is going to be really quick today. Um, I'm going to show you how to change the color of something in Photoshop and also how to add color to something in Photoshop that is either black, gray, white, whatever. So uh, we're going to first show you how to uh, change color or something. So what we're going to do is going to, um, all you're going to do is click on this and you're going to go to Image, Adjustments, Hue, Saturation. So click on the layer you want to, click on the layer you want to change and go to Image, Adjustments, Hue and Saturation. And uh, you can mess with the hue in here. Um, just because it's just because it says purple um, right here doesn't mean it's always going to change to purple. So yeah, so, um, whatever. Just met, just slide it around so you see the color you like. And uh, say um, I kind of want this blue, but I want it to be darker. Then I'm just going to turn the the lightness down, and now it's kind of a darker. I get darker shades of that blue, and I can also turn the saturation up. Uh, and turn the lightness down, you know, to kind of mess, you can just kind of mess with all that and uh, change the color, but uh, anyways, that's how to change the color of something in Photoshop. You can do that with any layer, as long as it has color. If it doesn't have color and you want to add color to it, um, if it doesn't have color and you want to change the color or add color, you have to do this. You have to click on the layer, and when you go to image adjustments and hue saturation, it doesn't work, alright? It doesn't, um, it may change some of the color of it, but most likely your main color is going to stay gray, black, or white. So what you have to do is make sure you're on the layer, and then click the little new layer button right here, new layer, and then on that new layer, it should say layer 3, or it should be blank, or whatever, it should say layer something, and it should be blank. Right click it and hit create clipping mask. And now what you want to do is go up to the blending modes on layers, and go to overlay. Um, I'll show you what this does in a moment, but anyways, I'm going to make these spheres red. So I'm going to take the brush tool, and um, make sure my color's red down here. And I'm just going to color in and see now my spheres are actually red. Now, if I change it to normal blending mode, this is what happens. All right. And we don't want that. You can make it, you can change the blending modes to mess with how you want it to be. Maybe you don't like the way overlay looks. But for the most part, overlay is probably the best, um, uh, the best blending mode because it's actually, it's kind of like you're just painting it. It's just overlaying the, the actual image. And then you can change the opacity down uh, to change that. And say I wanted this 85% opacity, and then all you have to do is to change the color of that is adjustments, hue, saturation, and uh, you just go and mess with that. Make sure if you want to change the color of the uh, added color, you you're on the clipping mask layer right here, and then you go to adjustments, hue, saturation, and you just change the color, uh, and that's how it works. So uh, thanks guys for watching. This has been a tutorial on how to add color. And how to change color of objects in cinema or in Photoshop. Sorry, guys. Thanks for watching, and uh, please comment below uh, saying what other tutorials you would like. I haven't really seen a tutorial about this, and it's a really good tip for people that are starting off in Photoshop, or uh, maybe that are pretty good at Photoshop and just haven't bothered with this yet. So uh, thanks, guys. See ya.